Okay, on to part three, which is the last stage of this quick painting. Now I'm using some of the same colors, but I'm also using smaller brushes, and that should make sense as we're trying to get some more details in there. Even though this is a pretty quick painting, and I want to um, show uh, the painterly effects of what happens when you put paint together and, and uh, mix wet into wet, um, uh, we don't need to have the fine, fine detail. If we did that, we'd even want to go with smaller brushes. But I want to embrace what paint is, and I want to show paint strokes and how they stack up and intertwine and mix with each other. And you can even have some of those moments where there are some surprises, whether it's the blue shadow that I'm uh, allowing to come through a little bit more than would be typical, uh, or I'm trying to find those little hints that are occurring in the actual real picture. Uh, you'll notice that all these objects relate to one another, whether it's the full round apple there that is creating a shadow on the cut apple, or whether it's the cut apple or the other full round apple that is reflecting on or creating a shine on the other apple. So all these things exist in the same world. It's not just about how objects create shadow, but sometimes how they reflect into one another or onto the tabletop, or how the tabletop can sometimes reflect onto the object. So being careful observers, and the more time you spend really observing the original photograph, uh, the closer to reality you'll get. And so I'm just going to finish this out in a way that uh, hopefully conveys the sense of these objects. And with stacking these colors, hopefully it gives the sense that it is a very rich and filled painting that embraces what it is to be paint. And there you have it.